Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick, and we are back with another Team of the Year bundle. So let's kick it off here with the topper once again. You know, looking for DeMarco Murray. And we're getting Jason Peters, so I have Jason Peters too. So I guess I'll just keep the two tackles that I pulled and sell the ones that I bought. So might as well do that. But that last pack that I got for Team of the Year pack was money. So let's see here if we can get another money pack here. We just get some coinage pack going up here. So starting out with the Rams... Uh, punt return, fake guy, oh, uh, alright, so another, another, uh, uh, Pat Pete collectible, uh, another Luke Wilson, uh, the 80-yard Jordy Nelson collectible, and nothing out of the rest of that, but the Pat Pete one's not terrible, I guess, uh, not great, but not horrible, alright, and let's go into the next one here. Uh, Mike Pouncey, Jared Allen, Andy Dalton. Yeah, road to the playoffs, Andy Dalton. Uh, that's the Brent Grimes. Nothing so far. There's the Andrew Luck. Another Luke Wilson. And the Antonio Brown kick. I'd like to pull one team of the year player. But am I getting too greedy asking for that? Uh, Chris Cook. Pernell McPhee. Sheldon Richardson, the Alden Smith collectible, Dan Scuda, Lance Briggs, the Gronk catch team of the year collectible, Everson Griffin, A.Q. Shipley, and another preseason Zach Mettenberger collectible. So, nothing so far. We still got two more packs to go. We got two more packs that could be straight money, but Robert Alford doesn't contribute. Uh, Nolan Carroll... Uh, the Antonio Brown kick, Dennis Pitta, Barry Church, the Brenton Crimes collectible, and the Richard Sherman collectible. Okay, so that's not that's not a terrible pull. The Richard Sherman uh, collectible is pretty nice. Uh, so I've got some decent Team of the Week collectibles. I'll have to see what they're going for because they could be straight trash uh, for price. But who knows? So we're starting this one out with the uh, J.J. Watt collectible. So that's not half bad either. Uh, then... What's his name? Is it, uh, I can't even remember his name. It's my bad. But it's the week 11. And then nice, the Nate Soldier. All right. I'm terrible. Uh, Mike Neal, Tony McDaniel, Linval Joseph, uh, Ridley, Team of the Week. So this one was kind of ass cheeks if the Team of the Week collectibles aren't going for anything. So I'll, have to, I'll take a look at those, see what those are going for real quick here. Let's go give a quick recap of the four of the bundles, see here, let's go Elite, Newest, alright, so a bunch of collectibles, but the Peters, the Lacey, Burnett, um, let's see here, we got the Volmer, okay, that was about it for the Elites, um, I really only pulled two Elites other than the Toppers, but obviously got ten of the collectibles, which Probably go for around 10k. We'll go, I'll get them off out of my uh, reserves for about 15k each. So that's not bad. It's about 150k. I'll probably be able to sell both of these for two, two for about 200 combined. So looking at about 350. I'll be able to sell the Burnett for 150 probably. Maybe a little bit less. So we're looking at about 500 and I'm guessing like 30 to 50k for the Lacey, which would bring us to. Uh, like 540, uh, not including the Team of the Week cards if they happen to be worth anything. So let's go Team of the Week collectibles here. We'll take a look at what we've got. So let's see here, all and then the collectibles. So I got 21 collectibles. It's got some. We got some decent ones here. Let's go by alphabetical. So I've got two. I got one Rogers. I got two Grimes, I've got an Alden Smith, Sherman, Macklin, um, or, uh, Jordy, uh, Watt, uh, Forte, this is called, who is this? I can't even remember. Why can't I remember his name? Oh, I'm just blanking on his name. I got two of the crappy Justin Hunters, or not the, the Zach Mettenberger collectibles. I've got Pat Pete, two Pat Pete's, uh, Chandler Jones, a Michael Sam, pretty crappy one there. Uh, a Luck, a Cam, and a DeAndre Levy. So, not bad. Let's go take a look at some of the prices of these Team of the Week collectibles. 
uh, and just see what they're going for. That Sherman one is what I kind of want to see the most because that was a pretty decent pull. Let's go Team of the Week. Let's go Collectible. All right. So let's see here. I got to remember the names of these. So let's see here. Let's type in pick six. Let's see how much the Pat Pete's going for. This will give me an idea here. So the Pat Pete collectible is going for 34k. So that's not terrible. It's not terrible. I might take a. I'll take a look um, and I'll try to decide what I want to do. If I want to sell them um, or if I want to try to just do the collections. Uh, but seeing as it gives you two collectibles and not two players, uh, I feel like it's going to be a lot harder to get these done. Just going to take a quick look at the prices. Let's see here, where is... There's Pat Pete. Alright, so it's the Alec Ogletree who is 200k. My god, dude. Okay, never mind. This is expensive as shit. Because the players... Oh, God, dude. Alright, never mind. I'm going to sell the collectibles because that shit's just way too expensive. I'm never going to be able to... <laughs> never going to be able to do those. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, drop it a like if you did. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. And I'll catch you guys in my next video. Peace out, guys.